Hello, Optometry Times. My name is Dave Kading, and I practice in Seattle, Washington. And uh, what I wanted to do for a couple of minutes is just talk a little bit about some things that I'm excited about in the dry eye arena. You know, we've uh, come through a very interesting couple of years in the last five years with more new dry eye products hitting the market. Uh, in addition to that, more dry eye diagnostic products coming out of the market. And what I think that's done is that's worked a little bit to overcomplicate the process of dry eye as we really struggle to come up with a singular definition of dry eye that works for all of our patients. Um, and so what I'm hoping to do and hoping to find in the next couple of years is that uh, we can narrow in on that diagnosis and we can narrow in on some more, uh, some more definitive diagnostic criteria for uh, dry eye disease. So to start with, uh, let me tell you about a couple of products that I'm excited to potentially hit the market. Um, number one is there's some products in FDA, uh, FDA trials um, from a couple of companies that you may or may not be aware, aware of. One of those is a product um, from Shire, uh, from, excuse me, Shire's already come out, uh, from Sun Pharmaceuticals. And Sun is a, uh, a new company to the eye care space, very exciting company. If you're not aware of them, make sure you hit them up at a booth at the next uh, big optometry meeting and just find out what it is about Sun. But they're looking at releasing a, uh, a new cyclosporin, and that product is uh, going to be exciting to see what it brings about. Uh, you know, very interesting to see what the studies are bringing up and how they compare to Restasis, but it'll be exciting to see the market rise and, and some excitement around that. Um, other products that we're looking to see uh, relate to neurostimulation, and that's um, a, a, an interesting topic which you'll be able to see uh, more info on in uh, an upcoming vlog that I do that talks about how we may be able to uh, use stimulation um, of uh, some of the nerves uh, to increase the production of uh, various different tier qualities. And that's, uh, that's going to be a really innovative and really interesting product um, if and when it hits the market, which we're looking to see it probably here in 2017. Other products uh, that are exciting is what uh, what Allergan's looking to do with their multi-dose. You know, so many uh, patients um, that are using Restasis may be using, uh, using it multiple times, which um, could be, you know, negative for the patient, but also the concern with um, with patients being able to get the drop in their eye and how a bottle will be able to do that potentially better than how it's being done right now. So what's really interesting and innovative about this particular product is, uh, it's, it, it is its safety and that is that uh, it's preservative free but it's in a bottle and um, we've got the great understanding of what Restasis is and how it works for patients and now we're going to be able to put it in a bottle which will be, um, you know, which will be fantastic. So the multi-dose from Restasis is something we're uh, excited about and really hopeful for. And then there's a couple other products that are in the work uh, which um, you know are still in trials that are pretty exciting. I'm curious to hear what products you've heard about and I'm curious to see if you uh, if you know of other innovations that are out there. There's obviously some innovations on the dry eye diagnostic side, which you know we didn't really get into, and some uh, innovations in the literature about our understanding of dry eye, which um, you know I'm sure we'll be hearing about pretty soon, and uh, some pretty exciting things are along those lines. So thanks for joining us, and I'm curious to hear what you have to say about some of the dry eye diagnostics, some of the dry eye treatments, and the understanding of what dry eye really is.